What is good people, it's the Joe Simon Cow in the building, I go by the name of Walks. And today we got some content that's a bit new to the channel, something different, I'm recording it new to the studio. It's gonna detail everything that I buy for the studio, everything that I receive that gets added to the setup that we use daily here on YouTube and on Twitch. Today we're gonna be talking about the Beacon Mix Create, so let's get into it. Now, if you've been following the channel for quite a while, you'll know that the audio mixes on the reactions changes a lot. And for a guy that mentions the mixes a lot in these drill songs, I need mine to be on point. And sometimes that could be a bit of an issue with using OBS. The sync offset delay changes a lot. And I think that's due to me needing to upgrade my interface that I've got at the current minute. And this is where the Beacon Mix Create steps in. For a cost-effective workaround, instead of me upgrading my interface straight away, when we've done multiple other upgrades to the channel, it works a charm. I'm able to control everything audio related in my PC from one device when i want to unmute the mic and give commentary on the music all i have to do is mute the speakers on the beacon mix create and you won't hear the feedback it's been working quite well i've got my mic routed through here as well as my speakers and game audio but the one thing i like about this is being able to separate game audio and the chat so when lead to the vi inevitably dies in warzone and is talking to the chat when you need clean comms i can just mute him right there and then and still have the game sound it's lovely it's been working a charm for me recently it's been great for me on stream and improving the audio on the YouTube reactions that you guys get as well. There's a bunch more features and things you can do with it, but those are the things that I use it for currently. Save me a ton of money too. If I'm to nitpick at any problems with this, I would say there's a little bit of a delay with the power reaching the device. So when you turn on your PC, it doesn't always activate straight away. You really have to nitpick to find problems with this device. My biggest issue would be the custom charges that you have to pay if you're in the UK. So you spend 169 bucks on this, no mention of customs, then you get a notification when your delivery is on the way. You've got pay another 45 pound to get that imported at the end of the day it still saved me money so i can't complain too much and it served its purpose really well overall if you're a streamer i'd recommend this device if you've got another interface already being that i used to use the go xlr mini and it's made by the same people it's definitely a recommendation for me as i had so many problems with this it's just a good luxury piece of gear to have that makes so many things easier for you with a click of a button make sure you're checking out the beacon mix create until next time on new to the studio it's the draw simon cowell we out peace and love